So I want to understand the equations and then solve them. Okay. So how do I how do you understand them? The row picture is one way, the column picture is another very important way. Just let's remember the matrix form here, because that's easy. The matrix form, what's our matrix A? Our matrix A is this right hand side, the two and the minus one and the zero from the first row, the minus one and the two and the minus one from the second row, the zero, the minus three, and the four from the third row. So it's a three by three matrix. Three equations, three unknowns. And what's our right hand side? Of course, it's the vector 0, minus 1, 4. OK. So that's the way, uh, well, that's the shorthand to write out the three equations. But it's the picture that I'm looking for today. OK. So the row picture. All right. So I'm in three dimensions, x, y, and z. And I want to take those equations one at a time and ask and make a picture of all the points that satisfy. Let's take equation number two. If I make a picture of all the points that satisfy, all the x, y, z points that solve this equation, well, first of all, the origin is not one of them. x, y, z being 0, 0, 0 would not solve that equation. So what, what are some points that do solve the equation? Let's see, maybe if x is 1, y and z could be 0. That would work, right? So there's one point. I'm looking at this second equation here just uh, to start with. Let's see, also I guess if z, z could be 1, x and y could be 0, so that would just go straight up that axis. And uh, probably I want a third point here. Uh, let me take x to be uh, 0. Let's say x to be 0, z to be 0, then y would be minus a half, right? So there's a third point somewhere. Oh, my. OK. Uh, let's see. I want to put in all the points that satisfy that equation. D do you know what that bunch of points will be? It's a plane. If we have a linear equation, then fortunately, the graph of the thing, the, the plot of all the points that solve it, are a plane. So I, and three, these three points determine a plane, but uh, your lecture is not Rembrandt, and uh, this, the art is going to be uh, the weak point here. So I'm just going to draw a plane, right? There's a plane somewhere. That's my plane. That, draw, that, that, that plane is all the points that solves this guy. Then what about this one? 2x minus y plus 0z. So z actually can be anything. Again, it's going to be another plane. Each row in a 3 by 3 problem gives us a plane in three dimensions. So this one is going to be some other plane. Maybe, it, maybe I'll try to draw it like this. And those two planes meet in a line. So if I have two equations, just the first two equations in, th in three dimensions, those give me a line, the line where those two planes meet. And now the third guy is a third plane, and it goes some, somewhere. OK, those three things meet in a point. Now, I don't know where that point is, frankly. Uh, but uh, linear algebra will find it. The main point is that there is, that the three planes, because they're, you know, they're not parallel, they don't, they're not special, they're, they do meet in one point, and that's the solution. But uh, maybe you can see that this row picture is getting a little hard to see. The row picture was a cinch uh, when we looked at two, two lines meeting. 
When we look at three planes meeting, it's not so clear, and in four dimensions, probably a little less clear. So, can I quit on the row picture? I'll quit on the row picture before I've successfully found the point where the three planes meet. All I really want to, to see is that, there, that the row picture consists of three planes, and if everything works right, three planes meet in one point, and that's the solution. Now, you can tell I prefer the column picture. Okay, so let me take the column picture. That's x times, so there were two x's in the first equation, minus one x is, I'm just taking, and no x's in the third. It's just the first column of that. And how many y's are there? There's minus one in the first equation, two in the second, and maybe minus three in the third. Just the second column of my matrix. And z times no z's, minus one z's, and four z's. And it's those three columns, right, that I have to combine to produce the right-hand side, which is zero, minus one, four. Okay, so what have we got on this left-hand side? A linear combination. It's a linear combination now of three vectors, and they happen to be, each one is a three-dimensional vector. So we want, to, we want to know what combination of those three vectors produces that one. Shall I try to draw the column picture then? So since these vectors have three components, so it's some multiple, let me draw in the first column as before. So I, x is 2 and y is minus 1. Maybe, maybe there's the first column. Y, the, the second column has maybe a minus 1 and a 2 in the y's and minus 3's, some, somewhere there possibly, column 2. And the third column has no, no 0, minus 1, 4. So how shall I draw that? So nothing in, this, this, was the, this was the first component. The second component was a minus one, maybe up here. 